Hello, today we'll be looking at current transformers, shorting blocks, and how they are wired. This work should only be performed by qualified persons wearing the appropriate PPE using electrically insulated tools. The equipment seen in this video is de-energized. In this application, we'll be working with a single current transformer connected to a six-pole shorting block. Six-pole shorting blocks can be used in applications with the three current transformers, which allows each current transformer lead to have an individual contact point. CT shorting blocks are used to create an intermediate contact point between the meter and load where it is safe to perform wiring alterations. CT shorting blocks are wired such that the negative leads of the current transformers are connected to the same node and tied to ground. Here, 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 which is then tied to ground. As can be seen in the shorting block, the connection that is tied to ground is also tied into the shorting strip with a shorting screw. Shorting screws are also used to tie together the negative leads of the additional current transformers. In order to safely modify the current transformer wiring at the meter or metering side of the uh, CT shorting block from here to here, the positive leads of the current transformers must also be shorted out to the CT shorting strip using additional screws which are usually found on the corners of the shorting block. Here, here, and here. Once the current transformer is properly shorted using the CT shorting block, it is safe to make wiring modifications on the meter side of shorting block, from here to here. Once the intended wiring modifications have been completed, you will need to remove the shorting screw from the positive CT lead terminals in order to return the meter to proper operation. Be aware that incorrect alterations can result in an arc flash.